In this video I will show you how to fix GTA 5 Rockstar Games services are unavailable. We will be covering a few different methods, some of these methods can also be used on consoles such as PlayStation and Xbox, as well as on your PC. For the first method, you should check your internet connection on the device you are using. If you are using that same device to watch this video, then your connection should be ok. If not, you can always test it by opening up a browser and seeing if it loads. And as you can see, mine just loaded, so that means that my connection is ok. If this didn't help you, you can move on to the second method. For the second method, you will need to check the server status of GTA. If the servers are offline, then the problem can only be fixed by the game itself and not you. To do that, you can open up your browser and select one of the search boxes and write GTA 5 server status. Then you press the enter button and you open up the first link at the top. And when you get to this website, you can check out the Grand Theft Auto online section, find the platform that you're playing on right here and check the circle before it. If it's green, that means that everything is working as intended. But if it's red, that means that the servers are down and you can't do anything about it besides wait. If the servers were ok when you checked and that didn't help you solve your problem, you can move over to the next method which is to restart your PC or console. There might be some type of error in the functioning of your operating system and a quick restart should help resolve that. After you've done that, you can open up the game and see if the issue got resolved. If it didn't, you can try the next method. The next method is only for PC users and if you are a PC user you can try and turn off your antivirus and firewall in case they are blocking the connection. To do that, first off let's turn off the antivirus, you go to the bottom left of your screen, you press that button right there and you write Windows Security. Then you open up the application at the top and then you press Virus and Threat Protection, open that up and then press manage settings right here. Now that we have gotten here, we locate the real time protection section and press this button right here. That will turn off your antivirus. Be careful when doing this and only do it while you are playing GTA 5. Then turn it back on because leaving it off for extended periods of time might expose you to malicious content and viruses. And after you've done that, you go to the left and you press firewall and network protection. Open that up. Then go into domain network at the top, press this button again, this will turn off your domain network firewall and do that for the private network as well, turn it off, then do it for public network as well, press it and turn it off. Only do this while you're playing GTA 5 and then turn it back on immediately after you stop playing. Then after you've done all of these, you can go and try and launch GTA 5 and see if the error is still there. If it is, then you can move on to the next method. The last method is basically the last resort. You can do this in both your consoles and PC. Basically, you will need to reinstall the game. First off, uninstall it and then you can install it. The process should be pretty simple. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.